Hello YouTubers. So this is a garden update for 2017. This is a beautiful peony. Some cats and kittens or chicks and hens. A dahlia. Possibly strawberries that won't come up because I think they may have uh, drowned when they were initially planted, but we'll see. Um, we've got a woodpecker in the background. Um, a Niagara grape. My husband's pepper plot. We've got a Thompson green table grape. A Concord red table grape. My cattle panels to put up as the fencing or trellising. And we've got um, a Reliance red grape, table grape. We've got um, elephant ears that haven't come up yet. I'll give you a little tour of all of them, just in case any of them do pop up. We'll have some prior video of them not being up. And all the spots that have mulch right there are the uh, spots that have been planted. But they have yet to come up. So part in the dirty yard <clears throat> needs to be straightened up and pots need to be emptied. So first in this bed we've got some white onions. And they're all starting to come up. And we've also got some Egyptian walking onions. I got off of some from eBay. So these are second year plants and they will definitely produce bulbils or bulbils or whatever you want to call them. So um, here is going to be tomatoes and herbs and asparagus over here. I know, I know, asparagus and onions in the same bed. I'm a rebel. And we've got uh, Blu ray blueberries and we'll show the new growth because I got these on a 50% off discount rack so I was very impressed that they were still alive so these are blu-ray blueberries this is it was a twin pack so these are Patriot blueberries and you can see all the little nubbins of growth that are coming out yay so that was a success in purchasing those hopefully um, we've got my radical and they're looking pretty good. We've got those filthy weed strawberries. People call them climbing strawberries, but folks, they're weeds. You cannot eat them. The berries do not taste like berries. They're trashy and terrible. Um, okay, Chippewa blueberry. It is producing flowers, so I need to make sure it's in a cage because I did not eat any blueberries last year because the birds did. Thanks, birds. Some more white onions of overflow. My husband loves them, so I wanna make sure I have those. Um, I've got some red onions. This is mostly white on this side. And then I've got shallots. And over here is garlic. And throughout the bed, because this is a raspberry patch, <laughs> so I've got red heritage, I think, here. Um, fall gold, I think, here. And I think uh, this one for sure is um, it's gold. But it's gold. But I can't remember the name right now. Um, but all the little sprouts in between her raspberries as well which is exciting and over here in this bed this is um, some lettuce that needs to be thinned uh, some spinach that needs to be thinned as well some kale and uh, flat and curly kale over there here is my strawberry patch hello ladies um, this actually just started to explode overnight um, we have some flowers in the bed as well as some flowers in the runners and I'll put in the the runners as well. These are runners from last year. So I'm assuming these are the ever bearing variety because it is still too cold for the June bearing to produce. Um, right here, chives from last year. Um, I planted a little mini bulb of garlic and it looks like all the shoots are coming up. So. Um, it's just a little experiment and cilantro that popped up from last year and this oh, look I got this one last year but it was planted in the ground and it was not doing very well so I dug it up and I planted it in a pot and it looks to actually be coming back this is I believe the blue crop blueberry and this is my um, Jersey blueberry and this is actually gonna produce some flowers this year. And it's all coming back if you see all the little nubs. Yay! Glad I got it out of the ground. 
some white onions again. And this is my tomato and pepper bed. But right now it is peas. Alaska dwarf gray. So peas all along the edge. And over here <clears throat> I've got white strawberry bare roots. And here are it came in a pack from Walmart. It was like half off from last year, and I'm surprised they're alive. But these all came like alive, and they're um, ever sweet, ever berry. Here are poppies and potato. That was a volunteer, and marigolds, and marigolds in here, and then more strawberries. But they were bare root, and again, I don't think they're gonna live either. Let's just like the ones on the table. Um, those are cucumber plants that I thinned from my greenhouse, and I'll show you those in a second. These are volunteer yellow cherry tomatoes. See that? Volunteers from last year. And I will show you the green. I'll show you something nice to look at while I unzip this piece. Okay. Oh, and red lettuce for my nephew. And niece. All right, folks. Back there is cilantro and parsley, Asian cucumbers, oh, more cilantro and parsley. I think that is cilantro and parsley as well. Yep, cilantro, uh, walla walla onions, um, butternut squash, yellow squash, cucumbers. Uh, green squash doesn't come up yet. Um, these are habaneras, these are Carolina Reapers, and these are jalapeno. Uh, and the rest are tomatoes, a variety of Rutgers, Brandywine, uh, Roma, and Cherry. And then we've got my herb palette, and it looks like oregano and spearmint. And basil over here, chives, garlic chives haven't come up, but common chives did. Uh, dill and corn. Um, these, I planted more zucchini because the green squash wasn't coming up, so I figured I might as well just check and see if it's the seeds or you know, just do a test. Corn, uh, bunching onions back there, more corn, and uh, these are basil and parsley up there. And this is a sweet pea flower and sunflowers down at the bottom. So, and I think that's, oh yeah, some more crystal wax onions back there. And um, I think that's it. But I just want to give a little update of what's going on in my garden. Oh, I need to get some mulch to lay on the outside perimeter because it looks a mess. But, I'll end the shot on my lovely strawberry bed and hopefully, tons of strawberries this year. Thanks for watching.